This video <clears throat> is not for the squeamish. What you're looking at is a bridge of ants that just droop down like teenage testicles. Excuse me, that is the only thing that came into mind. And then came back up to invade and attack a hornet's nest. This is gross. This is disgusting. If I walked outside and saw that, I don't know what I'd do. I'd probably evict myself. Because it's like you already had an anthill and a hornet's nest. That's a pretty, pretty tough situation. But now you got this big dreadlock. I mean, it looks like a dreadlock. I could have a full dreadlock made of ants and not know it. Um, that's false. That's not true. I'd know immediately because that's disgusting and it would be, it'd be, I'd feel it and it'd tickle. But you guys get what I'm saying. It's, it's a, a big dreadlock for, and I don't, and, you know, they, they use pheromones to communicate and work together and do stuff like this. But how did the first ant pull up to the hornet? Like, I don't, I don't understand the physics. Did they swing like Indiana Jones and then the last ant grabbed on? Like, how did they, how did, how? How did it just, did it just build it down and then start building up? I just, I don't get it. Why didn't they just walk across the ceiling? And did they win? Hornets aren't, hornets aren't, aren't, aren't nothing to play with. So, did they just pull up and invade, bust the door in like the cops, and start beating up all the hornets? Or did the hornets just catch the fade? They was in there shooting threes, practicing dribbling. <laughs> I don't know anything about hornets besides they have a basketball team. I mean, this is this is gross, but also very interesting. This is this is ant warfare. I hope they won. 